Let's start with Paul Newman, the actor, talking about his career with Gene Shalit in 1982. Paul Newman has been making movies for more than a quarter of a century. One of his finest performances is his newest, The Verdict. I got a stack of stills from some of his most famous films, and handing them to him one at a time, I asked him to look at the picture and tell me whatever came to his mind about that performance. Ah, yes. Absence of Malice. A good film, and it gave me a chance to take some shots at the media. Ah, Rachel. Ah, uh, Joanne's probably best work, I think. Although, I don't know, she's so different, I can never make up my mind about her. And certainly my best work. Well, I like this picture a lot better than a lot of other people did. What is that? It's the outrage. They said that I didn't portray a Mexican very accurately, including the accent. The funny thing is, I went down to Mexico for two weeks and stole this from a a uh, soup salesman, a Mexican soup salesman who learned how to speak English for one year at a, working at a Detroit restaurant. And I ran the tapes with him saying one line and me saying the next line and so forth for a half a dozen people, and no one could tell which was which. So, so much for the accuracy of uh, theatrical criticism. Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. I see a picture like that and I realize how hard I was working as an actor in those days. And realizing now that you don't really have to do that. A real favorite. Um, if you take Butch Cassidy and you take The Sting, and then you take Redford and myself and George Roy Hill who directed both films who've been looking for things for Redford and I to do again for seven years and have not been able to come up with something. Um, Always drink gin with a Mark kid. You can't tell it. Too bad. When you make a picture like Butch, Butch Cassidy, do you know right away that you've got a winner? Oh, yeah. I think, I think Redford was really insulted because we sat down at the rehearsal table for the first day's reading, and I said, Redford, you're in your first, I don't know, $50 million picture. Uh, I mean, $50 million, I, and I m underestimated it by quite a bit. I was marvelous writing and marvelous relationships. Ah, Luke. He was an original. that scene? Eating 50 eggs. Well, I don't think I ever swallowed one of them. That's the joy of, uh, of editing. We'd just go a certain distance and uh, cut, and we'd start again someplace. You made Slapshot in Johnstown, Pennsylvania. It's about an aging hockey player in the minor leagues of hockey. Slapshot, yes. Uh, really original character, original writing. And I don't think anything is vulgar if it's truly funny. Come on, Mo! Get it to him! I love this picture. I really thought it was uh, a very unusual and original film. The Hustler. Uh, mostly good work, I think. How can I lose? Tell the story about the kid who came up and saw you shooting pool in the... In the disco. Uh, well, I was uh, shooting a couple of racks in, uh, at a disco in, in Los Angeles. And I stepped up to the bar to have a beer, and this kid came up and said, uh, Mr. Newman, I, I saw The Hustler four times, and I just watched you play pool in there, and it's one of the biggest disappointments of my life. I thought it was going to break into tears. When we come back, Paul Newman and Joanne Woodward defying the odds. But in this society of nomadic marriages, you stay together through a lot, through more than 30 years. How? Why? Because Joanne says nobody else will have each other.